Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical and Biblical Israelites. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature, so enjoy. The Evil Plots of Men Oh yeah, it's coming. Just like in the last days of Pompeii, In the year 79 AD, the nearby volcano erupted, putting an end to the nearby hedonistic pleasure city where every evil vice was practiced, ending the city, burying it in ashes forever. We are living in the end of a world, the end of an age. In a time where many are in denial. What is the mystery of the microchip? Will it be mandatorily implemented the next time there is a crisis, be it financial or health? Have we reached an era, a time when intellectual folly has reached its greatest heights, where we learn in schools and universities that apes become men and men become gods has mankind become delusional when the brightest and the best believe the next evolutionary step in mankind is to become homo deus from homo sapien homo deus man god from wise man, homo sapien, to man, God. But before man reaches the heights of the heavens, they, the planners, the plotters, believe man should grope in the darkness, in its darkest, lowest depths of hell. There shall be a time of trouble. So from London to Russia to Istanbul, Turkey and New Zealand, the elites are warning the populace of the world to get your bunkers stocked and ready for the next event for the days of plagues and pestilence are upon us all we live in a great paradox where ancient secret technology is used to create modern miracles of science. A place where 400 years ago men planned and schemed so they could conquer a continent and recreate new Atlantis. Building utopia 
was the dream of these nobles, aristocrats, and wealthy. In a unstable time of distress, anxiety, and concern, we discover hidden plots from the past. We're in the highest levels of power and influence. Creative destruction is dreamed of. For in order to build, you first must destroy. For out of hell, destruction and war they believe there will arise a future global united world so within the corridors of power the global elite the world managers believe There will come an event, a catalyst for change. And many believe this event will be World War III, the last war. So, there are plans within plans. The divine plan and the devices of men. Etymology or meaning of the word device. Oxford Languages Dictionary. Number two, device, a plan, method or trick with a particular aim. The plots or devices of men. But will divine intervention stop men with their evil plots of building a world utopia and paradise upon the suffering of mankind. For as the scripture said it, woe unto him who builds a city on blood. Can you Indeed, build a paradise, a heaven on earth, on the suffering and sacrifice of so many lives. So will there be a war in the heavens to disrupt? the evil plots and plans and devices of men? So will the next war be the creature against the creator? Mankind against his creator to prevent a great era from happening. A utopia. A global civilization built on the lives of so many billions. Or an invasion from the heavens 
sincere? Or is it another government deception? Project Bluebee. Where a secret plot to use holographic technology to convince mankind that they are being invaded from the heavens to unite mankind in a global society and against a war against these invaders from the sky. So let's take a little time to understand the biblical secular history of the evil plots of men this is the world we live in today a world at war divided with itself and the two greatest divisions military and financial divisions the western and eastern divisions of mankind the western countries are led by nato the eastern division of mankind is led by russia china with their allies iran and their allies this is the border between the NATO countries and Russia. And this is ground zero for World War Three. New border with NATO. Enlargement of Russia, NATO, common land border. After Finland's NATO entry, April 4th, 2023. And this is a map of NATO member states as of 2024, including Britain, Canada, and the United States as well as Turkey. The state of the world today is bleak and World War Three is on the horizon. According to this Associated Press news article, Germany and Poland, members of NATO, say they're not sending troops to Ukraine as the Kremlin or Russia warns of a wider war. And this article is dated February 27, 2024. And the wider war would be between NATO and Russia and her Brussels. Brussels is best known as the seat of the EU or European Union and is known as the capital of Europe. Brussels, Associated Press. It's fair to say that Brussels is a meeting place of NATO members. European military heavyweights, Germany and Poland, both members of NATO, affirmed 
Tuesday that they would not be sending troops to Ukraine. After reports that some Western countries may be considering doing so as the war with Russia enters its third year. The head of NATO also said the U.S.-led military alliance, NATO, has no plans to send troops to Ukraine after other Central European leaders confirmed that they too would not be providing soldiers. The Kremlin, Russia, meanwhile warned that a direct conflict, World War III, between NATO and Russia would be inevitable. It will happen. If the alliance NATO sends combat troops to Ukraine, in this case, we need to talk not about probability, but about the inevitability of conflict. It will happen if they send combat troops to Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that basically if you send combat troops to Ukraine, NATO and Russia will fight World War III. Moscow's or Russia's warning came a day after French President Emmanuel Macron said that sending in Western or NATO ground troops should not be ruled out. This is the plan to fight Russia. This is what Emmanuel Macron is telling other NATO leaders. Western ground troops should not be ruled out in the future. After hosting a conference of top officials from more than 20 of Ukraine's Western or NATO backers. So the French president stood up and told those other leaders Stick to the plan. Remember the plan. Don't be afraid. The war with Russia must happen. Don't get cold feet now. Stick to the plan. We will have to fight Russia. Just be prepared. This move by the French president would not make sense to ordinary citizens of France or United States, Canada, the EU, unless you were an insider and you knew that this plan of action is the plan. World War Three is something that the EU, NATO, Russia, all countries knew they would eventually have to fight. Fletcher Prouty is a man whose name will go down in history. He will be erased from the present history books. His version of history repressed. Yet in time, he will endure. Oliver Stone. And this quote comes from Oliver Stone, the controversial but acclaimed American film director, producer, and screenwriter. The Secret Team The CIA and its allies 
and control of the United States and the world. Wikipedia, L. Fletcher Prouty, Leroy Fletcher Prouty, born January 24th, 1917, and he died June 5th, 2001, served as Chief of Special Operations for the Joint Chief of Staff under President John F. Kennedy, a colonel in the United States Air Force. He retired from military service to become a bank executive. He subsequently became a critic of U.S. foreign policy, particularly the covert activities of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, which he believed was working on behalf of a secret world elite. Fletcher Prouty, an insider's point of view of the war between Russia and NATO, World War III. In spite of all of this, it was generally accepted that World War III would be a nuclear war, that it would be a brief war. During the nuclear exchange period, and that it would be followed by a long, protracted, and very complex post-strike campaign in which the least devastated nation would try to mount forces sufficient to occupy the territory of the most of the damaged nation and to bring about some order in what would most certainly be a totally devastated area. Such plans visualized that there might very well be strong cells of more or less conventional forces and other cells of varying degrees of local political power that would have to be taken over and organized in the enemy's homeland. Now, the plan was simple. The nuclear exchange part of the war would be quick. The nation that was least devastated by World War III was sent in their army to clean up or send cleanup forces to basically wipe out what's left of their enemies, military, police, armies, reserves, and organize those areas, which obviously would be in complete disarray after nuclear exchange. Reading the next section, such plans required that certain areas of any potentially hostile country must be left untouched by atomic warfare in order that radioactivity from direct hits and from the much more unpredictable fallout patterns would not become a retarding factor. The plan was to leave safe zones places that was not hit. Various studies were made of meteorological patterns and other known physical factors in order that war plans could be drawn that would leave certain selected uncontaminated pockets in the target countries. To the average citizen, World War III or a nuclear war would be considered illogical, unthinkable, horrible. But to the war planners, it's rational, it's logical, and it's planned to the most detailed operation.
where safe zones are to be left untouched, where nuclear strikes are not supposed to hit certain areas so they would not be contaminated by radioactivity. And you can send in your armies into those safe zones as basis of operations to launch the total takeover of your enemy's country. This is a rational plan in the minds of the war planners. A survivable war. A survivable nuclear war. Because the ultimate goal is to destroy, only to rebuild bigger and better, but at the cost of how many billions of lives. He continues to write. Fletcher Prouty about the secret team. Note with care. It is labeled a team. This is because as with any highly professional team, it has its managers, its front office, and its owners. These are the power elite to whom it is beholden. They are always anonymous, and their network is ancient and worldwide. The power elite networks are ancient and worldwide, and this is their plan for World War Three, or at least they believe it is. But this is about plans within plans. And ultimately, the most high plans are the real only plans. And by most high, I mean the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob ultimately is in control of all things that happen in heaven and in earth. Concerning World War Three, the ancients knew the world would be destroyed in two cataclysmic events. The first by water, which was the flood. The second by fire, which is World War Three. The complete works of Josephus. Josephus was a Israelite of the tribe of Levi, a priest from the first century A.D. He fought in the Roman Jewish Wars of 70 A.D. Flavius Josephus. And Josephus wrote about Adam's prediction of World War III, and he wrote of the origin of the technology that would lead up to the splitting of the atom to cause World War III. They also were the inventors. They meaning the children of Seth, the third-born son of Adam, after the death of Abel. They also were the inventors of that peculiar sort of wisdom, which is concerned with the heavenly bodies and their order and that their inventions might not be lost before they were sufficiently known. Upon Adam's prediction, 
that the world was to be destroyed at one time by the force of fire, nuclear fire, World War III, and at another time by the violence and quantity of water, the flood. They made two pillars, the one of brick, the other of stone. They inscribed their discoveries on them both, that in case the pillar or brick should be destroyed by the flood, the pillar of stone might remain and exhibit those discoveries to mankind. And also inform them that there was another pillar of brick erected by them. Now this remains in the land of Sarad to this day. And because of writings like this, the global elite, they were obsessed with finding and possessing any type of secret knowledge that would give them advanced scientific knowledge. According to Josephus, Adam's prediction that the world would be destroyed by force of fire. 